Yeah, I don't always do videos like this. In fact, I rarely do movie news videos at this point. It's like, if it's something to do with Joker, I'll do it. But there's a bit of Henry Cavill slash Warhammer news out there. And I was like, that's cool. And then I just couldn't stop thinking about it. And I have no real outlet. I'm like, I live alone. All right, I need to talk about it, and it's your ear I need for this. And that, thank you for clicking on this video, I do appreciate it. So before we talk about the main event, I guess we got it, we should probably do setup here. So Henry Cavill was back as Superman. It was kind of teetering, like, oh, is he still Superman? Is he not? And then he told everyone, hey, I'm back as Superman. He was super pumped to do it. Must have been a lot of meetings and a lot of negotiations that went into that. In fact, he was even... Spoilers for Black Adam. If you haven't seen Black Adam, it's only fair that I warn you. All right, you've been warned now. So he even came in for the mid credit scene in Black Adam. And the movie theater went fucking bananas. Everyone was cheering. I was there for it. Everyone's super excited. And after all that, I guess James Gunn takes over and they just pretty much told him, God, yeah! <laughs> he was Superman for years and wasn't Superman. It was Superman for about 12 minutes. And now he's not Superman. But this great man, nay, this Superman, did he rest on that? Did he wallow in his sorrows? Did he sit at a bar flicking beer nuts at bottles? No. In fact, did he go back to the Witcher? That's another thing, he quit the Witcher. He was so pumped to be Superman, he was like, I'm out, Witcher. I don't actually know if those two are linked, but I always assumed they were. Chalk that up to me theorizing on the basis that he quit the Witcher when he came back as Superman. So I always saw like those two might have something to do with each other. Did he crawl back to the Witcher? No! Now Henry Cavill was sitting around with his little Warhammer miniatures and he thought what Warhammer fans have thought for years. Which is, why the fuck isn't there a Warhammer movie? This is Age of Sigmar, it's not 40k, it's different. This is 40k, if it's not done yet, I still need to put the green hue on the blades. It's fun work, but a work in progress. I love this story, because you know he was like, oh, I hope someone makes it one day, and at this moment where he lost Superman, he was like, wait, I'm a huge fan, and I'm in the industry, and why not? Be the change you want to see. And Henry Cavill was like, I'm gonna make a Warhammer show or movie or a something. A Warhammer cinematic universe, that's the goal here. If there is a universe that is deserving of cinematic universe, it's Warhammer. It's actually really difficult to think of a universe among entertainment as big as the Warhammer universe. It's the sheer scope and scale of the universe he's taking on with this. You can learn it, watch YouTube videos, read it, read about it, ingest it. When you feel like your head's gonna pop, it's like, yeah, that's just one army. In fact, it's not just one army, that's one faction of one army that you've been learning. There are a lot of others. Doesn't actually look too big, but here's the gist. And then every army you take on has its own book. It is an enormous undertaking adapting these stories in this universe. But I'm glad it's in the hands of a fan. Henry Cavill's a big Warhammer fan. He's never hidden it. Which is the antithesis of what you see with a lot of studios. A lot of studios out there are like, we don't need to be fans. We just need to have enough moments in the movie or in the series that'll track well on social media. The memeable moments that can go viral. That's what we need. We don't need to be fans. We don't need to know the lore. Whatever. So Henry Cavill taking on Warhammer. That's a great move in a right direction. It's a great way to start this off. Also an incredible case of making lemonade out of lemons. He was probably crushed to lose Superman and fans were sad to see him go as Superman. Then he was like, I'm gonna do Warhammer. Also wanna give a little bit of love to my favorite Warhammer 40k channel on YouTube. That would be Baldermort's Guide. I'll put a link below. Now is the time to get into Warhammer if you're interested in what Henry Cavill might be doing. Baldermort's voice alone is god tier but his channel is very engaging reading about the characters the armies the factions the lore it can it can feel like a lot i like the fact that people can put on the youtube video listen to it on their drive to work it makes the lore more accessible i love that so now the question is where is it going to start because like i said it's a huge universe it can start anywhere. From what I've heard, Henry Cavill's army of choice is the custodian guard in 40K, so I imagine he'll start there. Start with what you love and start with what you know. It's quite a mystical bond, the love relationship between gamer and their Warhammer army. Anyhow, I thought this news was interesting, if not incredible. We're all rooting for Henry Cavill. Alright, so Henry Cavill, no longer Superman, but he's bringing us a Warhammer 40k cinematic universe. What do you think about this news? And if you play Warhammer 40k, Age of Sigmar, what is your army? Whatever it is, whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.